right, so I'm making this video because I don't know if I have any subscribers out there who have the same kind of thoughts, that have the same kind of issues. Um, disclaimer, disclaimer, this is going to be like maybe a little bit weird to some people, you know what I'm saying? But um, I've been having these real violent dreams. Um, in all due reality, I started having these violent kinds of dreams way before I even moved out of New York. I probably been having these dreams since 2017, 2018. And I could basically say like, these dreams have been like, these dreams have been like the matrix, where it's like, I'm running simulations in my mind over and over again of different ways to hurt people. Like for instance, last night I had a dream where I was bashing this guy's head in to the floor. The only thing about these dreams is that I be involved in violent acts, but I don't never kill them. I don't ever get killed myself. I usually wake up right before either of those situations happen. But for instance, last night, I was beating on this guy who I know. Um, This guy who I haven't spoken to in a while, who I never even, I never even thought that I had this type of energy for this person. This is somebody who, somebody who I call, I'm not even going to say that because then I'm going to be revealing too much detail, but I'm like in a laundry mat or something and I'm bashing this dude's head in, bashing this dude's head into the ground and like I'm, I'm pummeling him and that's just one of many violent, violent dreams that I've been having over the years. And it just seems like over the past two, three weeks, I've been having many more of them. Like for instance, two weeks ago, I was real sick. I'm gonna say it's the regular flu. Um, If I would've went to the doctor, they might've said it was COVID, but I was real, real sick for like, a week straight. And the only reason why I'm not going to say it's COVID is because I never lost my sense of taste. But I was having real bad body aches. Like, like my whole body. Like, neck down. Pain. Like, shoulders. Shoulders. Rotator cuffs. Ribs. Um, the back of my thighs. All that, right? And I remember for two, three nights straight... I was waking up in sweats, even though it was real cold. I was waking up in sweats. And it's like, I was running simulations in my mind. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I was like hurting people or attempting to hurt people. And a lot of times these is people who, like I know them. I know them without going into further detail. And I've come to realize that I'm probably doing this to myself because I have a lot of anger within me. Um, you know, like I'm a 30 year old black man, soon be 31, February 20th, you know what I'm saying? I deal with a lot of anger and I don't know where all of this is, is, is coming from, but at the same time, I do know where it's coming from, but I just feel like mentally, when I step when I step out into the world and when I'm dealing with people, I always lead with love. But I remember I've said before in past videos, I get real offended when people offend me. And I also understand that many times, many times, my kindness has been taken for weakness. 
And through a lot of these times where this has happened, I already had my kids. And honestly, being a father saved my life, you know, because I always tell myself, I'm not ever gonna be behind the plexiglass with a phone talking to my kids, trying to give them advice on their life as if I didn't just throw away mine, you know, like I refuse for that to happen. And I've had several times since I've had kids where I felt disrespected by men. And my first thought was to really like, like take it to the next extent. But knowing my opposition, knowing that if I do what I'm thinking to this person, I'm going to kill them and I'm going to go to jail or they could kill me, which I wouldn't allow that to happen. So they're going to have to die. And it would just be a constant like war type of thing. And then I wouldn't be comfortable to be free to be creative and do things like what I'm doing right now, which is talking to y'all and and I found myself what I call swallowing my pride. When my first instance is to hurt people, really hurt people. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, I'm sure some men can understand. We have these thoughts sometimes where sometimes for no good reason at all, we just want to hurt people. And it may be an imperfection of being a human, you know. Some people say we all born with original sin. I don't know, but it's been times where I feel like a fight is not enough. A fight is not enough, you know what I'm saying? Um, And a part of me, I feel like I'm having these dreams because... I'm suppressing a lot of anger and the anger is trying to boil up to the top. And I don't know, man. Maybe I need to get into like Muay Thai martial arts. Uh, I need to find a boxing gym. I need to get seriously into meditation because I gotta be honest with myself. The anger is in me. And I really be wanting to hurt people. Like, I'm not going to lie. And there's two reasons why I haven't gone off the deep end yet. And given in to my animalistic nature. And that's Cameron and King. My boys. My sons. Only because I want them to be better than me. And I don't want them to feel like violence is the way for everything. Even though I feel like violence is neither good nor bad. Sometimes it's just necessary. But I've just been having, over the last two, three weeks, just real, real, real violent dreams. Where I'm doing the worst kinds of things to people. And it's like, the worst kinds of things to people. And sometimes it's two, three different things I'm doing to people. And sometimes it's the same person. And I think it's because I've been wanting to while out certain times, but I thought ahead and I'm like, I'm gonna go to jail tonight if I do this. Or yeah, I'm gonna go to jail. Cause it's never been, it's never been more of somebody doing something to me and them going to jail, it's been, what if I do something to you, what I'm really thinking, you know what I'm saying? Because um, I'm a strategist. I'm a strategist, you know what I'm saying? And um, I've really lived my life by the four day laws of power. I know when to, I know when to pretend, I know how to pretend when I don't want an issue with somebody, 
in order for them to let their guard down and for me to be plotting and plotting and plotting for the moment where I could catch them slipping. I've literally done this before. You know what I mean? I've done this as recently as two years ago. I know how to study people for months at a time, find their weakness and execute. But then I'm, I have this thing where my humanity and my vanity is always in conflict. Do I give in to this animalistic nature? Or do I find productive ways to deal with this anger, deal with this aggression, you know, that comes from being 30 years old, living in a house of alcoholics, um, being in jail, being in prison, right? Being unrightfully jumped. Just trying to defend myself. Um, swallowing my pride with some people who I grew up with in attempts to remain friends. Because I know that if we not friends, I'm gonna treat you like you're a fucking enemy. Me knowing that I want to do these bad things to people sometimes, but knowing that that doesn't help my children. Who's going to protect my children if I'm locked up? They're never going to have a man that's going to love them without, without, um, that's going to love them properly and steer them the right way without having ulterior motives in a world full of, um, child abusers. So these are just the things that go through in my mind, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, like I'm a black man. None of us are in a rush to find a therapist. Even though we all need therapy, uh, I'm probably gonna end up seeking therapy in the future. I personally feel like I need to get in like some type of martial arts or something so I can deal with this type of aggression. Because at the end of the day, I don't want to go back to jail. You know what I'm saying? And if I knew that the police was on me and they looking for me for a murder that I did, I'm the type of person shoot it out with police and, and just have them kill me. Because I'd rather die than spend the rest of my life in jail. Like, who wants to do that? You know what I'm saying? And at the same time, I wouldn't want my life to even go in that direction. I got a lot of things to live for. I got plans to create the most successful podcast of all time, slash talk show. I got land that I want to buy and put it in my kid's name. And I be feeling like my humanity is fighting my vanity, you know what I'm saying? And um, every now and then I run into people who are stupid enough to try to trick me out the street. But I guess at the end of the day, it's all in my head. The mind controls the thoughts. Thoughts control the actions that the body does, you know? So to anybody watching this, if you're going through the same thing that I'll go through, understand that you have important things to live for, just like me. And we can't let nobody stupid trip us off the street, you know? Um, if you have Knucklehead baby mothers Don't make any more Don't let her trick you off the street um, If you're around people who Don't understand how dangerous you may be These are people who you shouldn't be around And you should strive to be around people Who encourage the best out of you The positivity in you um, I'm not going to go off the deep end But I just thought that I would share this Peace.